Welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're introducing the brand new stamp set Bicycle Built For You and it's coordinating dies so let's go ahead and check it out. First up we have this cute little girl and a cute little boy. We have the bicycle of course. We have some balloons, a flag, some little tin cans that are perfect for a wedding scene, a veil, a top hat, and a tie too for this whole wedding scene that you can create with these guys. We also have a little dog and a little cat that can fit inside the basket. We have a beret. We also have this cheese, wine, and bread to go along with that beret, some flowers to go inside the basket, and a single flower for the hair. And of course we have a little heart, both open and solid to help decorate the scene. We have some words that fit perfectly in that banner. We have bon voyage, bonjour, and merci. And then we have some great sentiments. So we have wishing you a, then the word beautiful, and then all of these other words that can go along with it. So we have adventure, birthday, day, and then wedding, and wedding can also go with wedding day. And we have enjoy the ride. Next up, I'm gonna be using my Copic markers to color in all of these characters. And I love coloring this little boy and this little girl like people I know in my life. For example, if I was gonna be creating a wedding card, I would color them like the bride and groom for the wedding. So I'm gonna be adding some color there to her skin, adding shading under her hair and around the ends of her arms and at the tops of her legs. And then I'm gonna color her dress in pink with my fav very favorite Copic markers. These R20 markers are just so pretty. And then I'll give her some little black Mary Janes and I'm going to color his hair black. And I'm coloring these two actually like my husband and I, which is kind of fun. So that way I can make a card for him. And so I'm going to color his hair black and then do his skin in the same way, adding a little shading under his hair and then blending that out and then adding a little shading on his hands too. Next up, I'm going to color his outfit. So in this case, I'm going to give him a blue shirt. I thought that would look really nice with the pink dress. And then I'm going to color his pants kind of in a khaki color. Next up, I'm going to be coloring the little dog and the cat, and they are perfect for putting in the basket. I also think it's really cute to put them on the bicycle seat, too. It makes a really, really cute card. And so I'm going to color both of them here in some warm grays, one of the dogs being really light, so he's a white dog, and then the cat being a little bit darker, but all within the same of those warm gray shades. Then I'm going to be coloring the bike turquoise, and I have to say, I think I almost always color this bike turquoise because I think I want a turquoise bike just like this in real life, so I keep coloring it this way, but I really like that turquoise and I'm going to blend my markers together. I'm going to touch the light one to the dark one to create a medium shade to help me blend these two markers together. Then next I'll be adding some color to all of the rest of the bike parts, our wheels there and the pedal. And I love toner grays for these. I really feel like it looks like a tire. Also by creating light spots and dark spots in the tires, I really think that also adds to that tire look. So next I am going to be adding some color to the basket and then I really like the handlebars and the bike seat to match the basket. I think that looks really nice. Then I'll be coloring in this cute little beret. And then next I'm going to be working on my balloons. So I'm going to color these in some fun, happy, and bright colors that are going to go along with my girl's dress with the pink and the turquoise for the bike and that little yellow just adds a pop of happiness. I'm adding a little bit of warm grays to that flag just to give it a little something going on and then I can color my tin cans in in some nice metal gray and then I'm going to color all of these flowers to coordinate for my wedding scene. So I'm using some purples I'm going to blend all of that out and I love that it all mixes and matches. I'm adding a little pop of really light turquoise on the veil just to make that white pop. It looks really beautiful that way and then I'll be coloring in the top hat and tie. And then here I had some fun coloring in my wine. So I got a dart rag marker and just made kind of a wavy line right there and colored down. And then the top I colored green for the bottle and I thought that turned out really cute. Now here are the coordinating dies for this set. You can separate them at the tabs or cut them apart with your wire snips. I'm gonna line them up with all of my stamped images, holding them in place with some post-it note tape, some nice low tack tape. I'm gonna run them through my die cut machine and then I can pop them out of the dies and they look, they look so cute all cut out. And here is a look at all of the images in this set. I love that there are so many things to mix and match. So here you can see how cute the girl is on the bike and you can add those balloons and the flag to the bike too. And then you can put things in the basket. So we've got the dog and the cat. Here we've got our bread and cheese with the little beret. And then also we could do a flower in her hair and have her have flower in her basket. 
And now here is a little tip for the boy. So I'm gonna take my scissors and cut right along the line of his leg, just like that, nice and simple. And that's gonna make it so I can put one leg behind and one leg in front of the bike, and it really gives it a lot of nice dimension. Now, if you want her to hug him, you can actually do the same thing. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're gonna cut right in between her arms, just like that, just a tiny little slit. And by doing that, I can pop one arm behind and one in front, and then it looks like she's holding onto them as they ride the bike and it's just so cute. I can't take how adorable this is. Now once they're riding the bike, it's really fun to make it into a wedding scene. So I added the top hat and the veil and the tin cans and you can just see how cute that is. Next up, I'm gonna be making a slider card. So the first thing I did was take the largest of my small stitch rectangles and cut some mermaid cardstock and some noble fur cardstock. Then I'm gonna take a stitch till side border, hold that in place with some tape, run it through my die cut machine, and now I have a nice hill to go along my nice blue sky. I'm gonna use the new road border set, which is perfect for this adorable bicycle built for you. And I'm gonna cut that from storm cloud and from sunflower. I'm gonna add some tape to the back of the road and then I can put the yellow lines in the road, which it looks really, really cool. So I'll just line those both up. Now I want my row to line up perfectly with my stitched hillside, but I also want it to have the stitching lines in the right place. So I'm gonna hold that in the perfect place and then I'm gonna put some tape down to hold it there. Then next, I can take my stitch rectangle and line it up with the bottom of that green hill since it already has the stitch rectangle on it, and that's gonna hold that die in the perfect place. Then I can run it through my die cut machine and have the stitching lines on the perfect part of the road. So now I'm gonna put that road right in place, and I'm gonna use my slide on over die now right over that road. Now, the slide on over die can only go through two layers of this thick 100 pound cardstock. So you'll see I'm gonna do something a little funny. I'm gonna run it through the die cut machine. I'm gonna pull out that center piece and then run it through the die cut machine one more time. So here you're gonna see that I'm gonna hold that in place with some tape. We're gonna run it through the die cut machine and now I wanna remove that inner portion and I need to save that for something later. So I'm gonna take that whole part out. Then I've got my opening there already so I can line my die up really easily, hold it in place again and run it through again. It seems like a lot of steps but it's totally worth it in the end. You're gonna see it's gonna look so cool. And there you can see how that piece is going to fit in later when we make the card. Next up, I have this adorable little picket fence. I'm going to die cut it from some white cardstock, line it up behind my hillside there. I'm gonna make some pencil lines where the white is showing through my track and some pencil lines along the outside and just trim that right up. And once I do that, I'll be able to add some adhesive and layer it right behind my little slide on over road hill here. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim off any excess pieces. Now here I have another piece of storm cloud cardstock and that's gonna be my backer piece. And so once again, I'm gonna line it up, but add some pencil lines where I need to trim it both on the top and the bottom. So I'll go ahead and just trim that and it can be messy because no one's ever gonna see it. And you'll see that's gonna line up behind it perfectly. Now next up, it's time to create this slider mechanism. So I'm gonna use some tripled up foam this time. So I'm gonna use tripled up foam and lay that all the way around so that it's not in the way of the penny, but that there's nice, like, good support behind there. And then I can layer all of my little bike pieces. So I'm gonna put the cat in the basket and then the little girl is going to be riding the bike and she's gonna have her cute little happy balloons coming off the bike too. And then I can take a piece of tripled up foam, add it to my penny, and I'm going to take my EK Success Powder Tool and remove any excess stickiness that might be on the outside of that foam. And I'm also going to run it in the track because that helps that penny move super fast. Then I can peel off that liner tape and add that little bike that we just put together right on top. Then I can remove all the liner tape of that adhesive, that tripled up foam we added earlier, and lay that right on top of that Storm Cloud cardstock piece. Now I've added some tape to the back of this road piece and I'm gonna drop that in now. So it's gonna look like it was continuous. You'll never know that I added it in later, but it's really gonna give that awesome road look. So I'm just gonna tuck that right in behind the back bike. And I really like to add in it at the end because if not, it's way too hard to line up. This makes it really easy to line up. So now I can push that out of the way, make sure everything's adhered well and the slider is working. Now next I'm going to stamp my sentiment. You can see I made a mistake at the bottom, so I just stamped it right on the top because I'll be covering that bottom piece up. I'll cut down some guava cardstock and create a card paste that is four inches by five and a quarter. I'm gonna lay my guava cardstock on the back to match her dress. 
I'll lay my sentiment panel on, and then I can add that whole slider mechanism right on top. And you're gonna see how cool this slider is. She's going on the road, which is so awesome, and it just makes me smile. Now here I wanted to compare it to another card that I made that doesn't have the slider. So you could do the slider version or a more simple version too, which is really fun. Now next up, I am going to be making a wedding card, and I have colored this uh, like someone that I know that's getting married soon, um, and I'm just trimming right along his legs and under her arms too, that way that she can hold them and he can fit right on the bike perfectly. So I'm going to layer them both together like that on the bike, and then I can add all their accessories. So I can add the veil and the top hat, some of those tin cans. I'll give him his tie and then add some flowers also to the basket to match her veil. Next, I'm going to cut some watercolor wishes paper in the horseshoe purple color down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And I'm also going to cut a stitched rectangle frame out of white cardstock. Here I am using a simple stitch till side border to set the scene. And then I'm going to stamp a banner from Bannertastic and add a little coloring. So I'm just using my BG10 marker and then my colorless blender, adding a little bit of BG10 and then blending it out with the colorless blender. And it's going to give it just a little extra something to the banner, but not too much, which I really like. Then next, I'm going to stamp sentiments from the Bicycle Built For You set. So we have the wishing you a, and then the beautiful. And I want to curve the beautiful, so I put a piece of acetate down. I'm going to curve it so that that acetate holds it in place and then pick it up with my acrylic block. And I can go ahead and stamp that in some black licorice ink, and I'll stamp the wedding day also. And then I can use my die to cut that out. Next up, I am going to adhere my hill to my little stitch frame here, and then we're gonna get working on a shaker card. So the first thing I'm gonna do is trim down some acetate to five and a half by four and a quarter. I just left the tissue paper on it just to protect it some, and then I'm gonna add some nice strong score tape all the way around the border there, and then I can add that acetate right to the back, creating the window for my shaker. Now here I'm creating tripled up foam, so I am going to double it up once, and then triple it up and then I can trim it down to nice thin pieces, kind of like a third of that big piece and put them around this whole thing in a rectangle shape. Then I'm gonna use my EK Success Powder Tool just to get away, rid of any stickiness along the inside of that foam tape. Now here I'm actually using some falling snow sequins, but I'm just gonna take those snowflakes out and I can save those for later. But I thought those white sequins kind of looked like throwing rice at the wedding or maybe bubbles at the wedding, which I thought would be really cute. I've removed all the liner off that foam tape and I can lay that right on my back and then add some tape to my images and line those right on top of that window. I'm gonna create a standard sized card base of five and a half by four and a quarter. I'm gonna add some tape to that base and then I can add my whole shaker right on top. And I love how beautiful this is. It totally looks like confetti at the wedding or rice or bubbles or anything like that. It's just so fun and magical and I cannot wait to give this to my friends. And then here is a look at the two cards that we made today. Both are interactive, but I love that you could take both designs and make them more simple cards too. Now here are some cards from the design team. I love this card by Letitia, it's so beautiful. And this wedding card by Elise is so happy and cute. I love how Shari created the purple mountains in the background of this wedding card, so beautiful. And Lizzie's little Parisian girl is just adorable with that plaid paper on the bottom. Nicole's slider wedding card is so gorgeous, and I love this happy card by Lynette. She's just so pretty there on the bike. And then this card by Nancy is so cute. She made it for an anniversary card, which I thought was such a sweet idea. Audrey's silver background is just gorgeous and elegant for a wedding card. And here is a card by Elena, and this is the card that inspired my shaker today. I just loved her layout and the purple in the background, and I thought it would be really fun to create a shaker out of it. And then I love this by Yenia. that blue sky is so beautiful and so happy. And then this layout by Kristen is awesome and she is now a married lady. So thank you guys so much for watching. I cannot wait to see what you guys do with Bicycle Built For You, so make sure to share it with us. Have an amazing day. Bye.